good morning. Okay. Um, so I came out here and I did um, a little cleanup first. I did a little cleanup. Uh, I did some weed eating. Um, well, first I cut some vines, uh, some watermelon vines that are going everywhere. Cut those because there's really no time for those to do anything. Um, it's almost October. So, um, and I was going to start uh, this video by filming um, planting the rest of my brassicas and things that I didn't do last time I was planting brassicas and things. Um, and I decided I probably um, need to do a little catch up video. My posting the last month has been real sporadic and real like non-existent. <laughs> I apologize. But um, my uh, bonus daughter Shelby came to visit. Uh, that's my husband's youngest. Uh, she was here for a week. And then my mom and my auntie Daphne from England, they were here for a week. They were here last week. Um, we went to Galveston <laughs> with both of those visits because um, there's not a whole lot to do around here, but go to Galveston. Anyway, we had a great time. Um, Shelby took some beautiful pictures of uh, downtown. Um, she likes to do photography. She's really good. She took some cute pictures of me and her dad. And um, when my mom was here, I uh, got to see my son and his girlfriend, and we went to the beach, and we saw jellyfish. Luckily, a nice woman, we were walking barefoot, and she's like, hey, watch out, there's jellyfish. Sure enough, big old giant jelly masses all over the beach. Anyway, I'm a little peopled out. You know me. Just talk overload. Just talk, 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 talk. It. Especially with my aunt, because I haven't seen her in 27 years, okay? I think 1997, last time I saw her. So I thought I needed to give y'all a little catch up on why I haven't been around. I mean, I've been doing filming here and there, but well, you know, I just didn't get out here. And there's been so many developments that I've completely just been glossing over. Okay, one big one behind me. Look at all them ding dang loofah. <laughs> full, I have a full, I have a full arch of loofah didn't even show you that didn't warrant didn't even I think I might have glossed over the fact that I had loofah like a month ago anyway it's beautiful it's beautiful I have so many loofah and it looks pretty hanging there okay so that is an update um also the watermelon vines that I was trimming well I actually have some watermelons that I haven't like haven't even I don't even know if I've mentioned those one of them got really big and I don't think it's ready, but it got so heavy and then it fell off. It's in the kitchen. Okay, we'll open that up later. I might do that this, this hummingbird. Um, it's also tick seed season. <laughs> tick seed started opening up earlier this week and they're looking so pretty. Um, so I thought I might just, you know, before I get into whatever planting I was going to do today, I kind of just wanted to show you and update you on things going on you know things that are going on before um you know they're done and they're not going on anymore and then y'all miss the whole thing because i hadn't been filming no i know anyway okay so let's just do a little update real quick you know it's probably gonna be a 30 minute video anyway let me show you real quick also um cc's coming over today i'm so excited because this evening we are going to a plant swap. This, there's that hummingbird. Hold on. Oh, he flew away. He was at the cypress vine. Anyway, I'm going to my first plant swap in Cleveland, Texas. Cece's going to come with me. And the plants that I'm going to swap with are um, all, of, all of that gara. All those little white dots. Those little flowers. That's my gara that I... Um, you know did cuttings of that rooted so well and honestly I'll probably take more cuttings when I clean out that circle bed so I'm clean out circle bed yet anyway also um I potted up some pampas plume celosia I have a bunch of I have some succulents and then I'm going to give to them or you know trade so oh but let me show you a close-up of this uh loofah arch so pretty look at this loofah arch oh my gosh some of these loofah are huge, huge, huge. Look at that one, huge. The flowers, the bees are loving it. Those big flowers up there. Oh.
some of the loofahs are a little deformed. This one I should probably should have picked when it was smaller and ate it. It's got like a bubble and a crook. And well, anyway, you know what that looks like. Um, I do have one that's reached maturity in there. Let's go around. Here it is from the front. So pretty, so many loofah. That's a giant one here and that one's huge. But this is the first one to form and it is completely dry. So I thought about taking that to trade too. Somebody could get a loofah sponge and about 300 seeds with that trade. Another big one there laying on top. Anyway, that's my loofah arch. So excited about it. Let me show you some of this tick seed going on. I'm gonna have a little bit of tick seed here in the circle bed. Pretty, pretty. This circle bed's a hot mess. I also have this thing that a bird pooped out for me or it's self-seeded or something. I don't know what it is, but the leaves are so velvety soft. It's got this pretty, like almost like an olive, olive color. It's like a blue green, fuzzy blue green with these interesting little flower cluster thingies. I have no idea what this is, but I think it's pretty. So I left it, I let it grow. It's like a little shrub. Almost reminds me of sage or something. I don't know, but I'm leaving it in the circle bed. I've got these pretty little zinnias, gorgeous. But you see how it needs to be cleaned out. It's so thick with junk. But this is the, the gara that I took cuttings from. I am gonna take more. Because and cuttings are so easy, it roots so easy. Got a yellow rose, I need to clean that out. My echinacea, still going strong. Anyway, I need to take out all of this native mist flower. I know the butterflies like it, but it's choking out. It's just choking out everything, everything is choking. Okay, another yellow rose. Oh, my rosemary that I got from my friend Elizabeth is doing really well in here, but it's getting choked out. I do need to trim back this mum, this white mum. Um, it's about to have another flush of bloom, so I'm gonna have to be real careful when I do my trimming that I don't, what? Oh, pickles is smelling a dead, that unfortunately is a dead monarch. Yeah. I had another one the other day that died too. Um, I haven't seen Monarch since spring, but earlier this week, I noticed that they had come back and I was seeing Monarch babies like everywhere. I was just filming them everywhere. Oh, there's the one I saw the other day. Yeah, so somehow something has killed them what else is going on my tomatoes are struggling my little micro tomatoes some of them have burned up completely and died this purple boy's struggling a little bit this one here okay i put a uh, dwarf dwarf mary's cherry in here and there was a tiny little uh zinnia this zinnia has since gotten huge that was a couple weeks ago it's branched out it's going to be really gorgeous and thick and stocky i like that it's not going to be leggy but the little uh Dwarf Mary's cherry seedlings died. Another seedling came up and I thought it was a Dwarf Mary's cherry. Turns out it's an eggplant of some sort. I don't know. We have an eggplant, mystery eggplant. So that's kind of cool. My little strawberries are doing good. My little eucalyptus is doing okay. It's suffering a little bit. This is my baby blue bouquet eucalyptus. It's doing okay. Uh, this little pot here with these salmon zinnias is doing great. Love these little tiny bushy zinnias. And then I've got some white gomfrina. Um, I'm probably gonna take out some of these uh, cow peas, this uh, purple potted, purple pea, anyway, you know what I mean, one of those peas. It's doing really well. Look at that, that's a nice big one. That's full of some fat peas. But some of the plants are done and they're not flowering anymore. So I'll take those out and that should give me a lot, a lot of bed space. This is the, uh, oh, what is it called? Thai green frog. Look how gorgeous, and it's about to bloom. I feel like I just potted that up a few weeks ago. My uh, Kodiak King Dwarf tomatoes that I planted up a couple of videos ago, I thought they were gonna die. 
they got down to where they were just a stick completely defoliated but now they've refoliated and they just might make it so that's kind of cool uh, tumbling tom is doing great as far as it growing but the flowers are not setting fruit yet i think we got too hot but we've cooled back off a little bit so maybe i will get some fruit uh, this is my Korean mint, doing really well. Grew that from seed right there. Radishes are doing okay. I do have some flowers on my Minnesota midget melon. Some little yellow flowers there. Uh, looks like Malabar spinach is growing in there. Um, not sure about the New Zealand spinach, but I do see Malabar spinach here, and I see the Minnesota midget. Still never got a giant ground cherry. The plant is huge. No ground cherries. Lame. Oh, looks like I have a pimento. Need to pick that. That's a pimento. This is a plant I got from my friend Elizabeth. Um, peppers doing okay. This is what, purple prince? They're small. I doubt I grow these again. They're just small. Purple beauty, sorry. Purple beauty pepper. I've got the dark opal basil. Um, this is my Keystone Resistant Giant Pepper. Hmm. What else? Still got toothache plant. Haven't tried it yet. Oh, I wanted to show you beans. Sorry. Hold on. So, when I did my beans, uh, I think last video, provider beans and nothing came up. But I did get some pretty good, uh, germination on the contender I mean <laughs> considering that I left them soaking for a full 24 hours and then left them in a bag for a couple of days and they smelled kind of funky but got some beans so I think I may plant I've got some rattlesnake pole beans I could put a TP right here and I think I'll do my rattlesnake pole beans uh some point this weekend maybe these are my blood oranges doing great I have quite a good crop of blood oranges this year Hopefully they all reach maturity and the squirrels don't pull them off while they're still green. That happened last year. Little buttholes, those squirrels. Uh, this other uh, tomato here. This is the, oh, it's the one from Botanical Interest. The tumble, it's, uh, it's one that falls, cherry falls. Thank you, cherry falls. It is blooming, so. We shall see. I did kind of prop it up. It was laying over, which it's supposed to, but it was laying over a little too much and I didn't want the dogs to walk by and break it off. So I propped it up a little bit. These pots, the dwarf tomatoes, one of them completely died. So that one died. This one, a uh, wild Fred dwarf, it's barely hanging on. I don't think that's gonna do anything. It's not gonna, it's not vigorous. It's not gonna make it. Zinnias. Florida Petite Micro looks a little stressed because I kept watering this and watering this and then I happened to look behind the felt one day and it was completely full of water because I forgot this doesn't have drain holes or it doesn't have very good drain holes. So I was drowning it so it's a little yellow but I quit watering it a couple days ago. It's been in the heat. I'm just letting that soil dry out so I think it's going to be okay. That's me crossing my fingers. Okay. Uh, my planting that I did the other day like some of the uh, giant red mustard is getting big. My yodfa is getting pretty big. The Swiss chard has grown quite a lot and the dazzling blue kale. So real excited about that. And that little clump right there, that is my comfrey. I'm so excited. I grew that comfrey from seed. Real excited about it. And then I have some jewels of opar. This is also edible greens and ornamental flowers. This watermelon is my orange glow. Um, I don't think we have time to get anything because it hasn't set a fruit yet, but it's traveling and I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna probably rearrange it in this bed, but I'm gonna leave it. My other watermelon though is starting to bleed into it a little bit. If you look all in here, all over there, my lemongrass came back with a vengeance. Also, I will be cutting back that lemongrass again. It's crazy. But all in here, all in here, all in here. 
all over here and what was sprawled out over here that I cut off all of this is my tender tender sweet orange flesh watermelon it's everywhere okay and I had one over here hanging that fell off it looks like I have another little baby there um, but I did find the other day I have a baby down here look at that cute little baby little baby watermelon right there and then if we go outside the fence there's another baby watermelon there so hopefully that'll do something i have one over here that i think i'm going to cut off um because it is rotted it's got blossom and rot that's unfortunate. Pickles, leave that alone. I'm messing with my melon. I'm not sure if this is a Sharon Taste or a Green Flesh Honeydew, but it's the only one I got that looks like that. Anyway, I need to do some trimming and cleaning up right here. Yep, these are doing fine. These, my caladiums, my fern, nah. My uh, passion flower is not blooming at the moment. I think we got a little hot and a little dry, so no passion flower. But I do have a lot of hyacinth beans. <coughs> oh, there's a hummingbird at my loofah. You see it? Yay. Oh, I know it's a hummingbird at my loofah. These, now it's at the cinia. Now it's going to the They love that salvia. I'm telling you, they love that red salvia. Hummingbirds. I love them so much. I love them. Anyway, I love hummingbirds, okay? So much. Okay, anyway, where was I? Oh, hyacinth bean. My purple hyacinth bean. Oh, sorry, ruby moon. Ruby moon hyacinth bean has been one of my favorites. Highly recommend. It's so pretty, like the flowers. Let me show you the flowers, but also the bean pots are gorgeous. So there's a flower, really pretty, pretty flower. But then you get these glossy bean pods, these glossy purple bean pods. Now I had more up here, um, but they've since fallen off. So I probably have bean pods all in the ground there. Um, my pawpaw tree is still alive. I thought it was dead. It defoliated. The foliage came back. I'm not sure about this one. That one might be dead. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, my third one, though, is dead for sure. For sure, for sure. And then, of course, all the gara that I'm going to take to the plant swap. I'm pretty sure these containers have grown into the ground. <laughs> so I'm going to have to unearth them, make sure they're watered really well before I take them. Got that giant mustard there. All of this stuff here, um, I still want to cover with that pile of mulch that's at the front of the garden. Uh, so many quail eggs, eggshells in the compost. Those are quail eggshells. All my seedlings that I still have to plant, of course, all the yodfas and the kales and the onions. My shampoo ginger is doing great. I don't think I'll get flowers this year, but the foliage is doing amazing. This pepper which I think is probably a giant Marconi or Corno de Toro is doing great. Uh, my lemons, my improved Meyer lemons are so pretty. They're starting to turn, but yeah, we are so full of lemons right now. It's beautiful. Oh, let me just cover all the citrus real quick. Look at my lime tree. My lime tree is like full. I don't know how many limes I have, like 20 maybe. So many limes. Anyway. Real happy with that lime tree. I was gonna show you my squash that I had covered uh, with a row cover to keep the vine bore off of it. And I took it off, oh, a couple weeks ago. And we have lots of flowers. I have not seen any female flowers at all. We've had nothing but males. Um, and it looks like maybe I am getting some squash bug damage. I thought the vine bore was gone, but maybe the squash bug has come instead. 
Oh, there's a female. Hello. Hello. Maybe that got, maybe that got pollinated today. Who knows? So that's obviously a patty pan. Um, nothing here. Anyway, and I have a mustard that volunteered. Not sure where that came from, but I didn't plant that. Red giant mustard. It's pretty. Uh, my flamingo celosia, I think is just about done. It's one of my coleus from seed. Uh, my okras have kind of petered out. They're done. I let too many uh, mature on the plant, so I think the plants have started to shut down. Uh, my moringa is living its best life. Look at that moringa. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So I do need to harvest the leaves to make a green powder. Very nutritious. Um, back here. The Zimbalo melon pear is full of flowers back there. So hopefully we get some actual melon pears. I haven't checked. I haven't checked. Uh, this watermelon, Blacktail Mountain, has started to take off. And it started to take off that way. So what I want to do is I want to put down some new cardboard here before I put the mulch. And then I will lay that watermelon down so it can start going that way. Ooh, somebody's car needs some brakes or something. Um, I see a birdhouse gourd. Um, I was talking with Faye and I was telling her that uh, this squash that she gave me, this Sicilian squash, the really long one, that I was only getting male flowers all year, nothing but male flowers. That's that whole top is that squash. And I didn't see any female flowers. Well, to, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday evening I was out here and I finally saw one. See that right there? Okay, you see that long thing? That long thing right there? That's a squash, female. And I think it got pollinated. Um, Anyway, that'd be cool if it did. It'd be really cool if it did. So, and Tabasco. I do want to make some Tabasco sauce. I've picked quite a few peppers already. Looks like I need to harvest some more. And then uh, I can make some Tabasco sauce. Got a red jalapeno. And I've got some of this uh, Pasilla Bajillo. Got a really tall amaranth there. Really tall amaranth there. That's probably, oh, uh, getting close to seven feet. All right, this container here in front of the Tabasco peppers is doing balls. I have my baby Bubba okra. It's getting a little ed up, but it's getting really big. Looks like we're gonna have some okra soon. Look at that, I feel like I just did these seeds. Not bad at all. And then I have my baby boo pumpkin. This pumpkin is getting so tall. Over here, over here, more okra. And then I have my filled kraut that I need to get in the ground. This is the only filled kraut that survived and I need to get it in the ground. But anyway, so a lot of things are on the struggle bus. A lot of the tomatoes uh, that I planted the other day have just flat out died. Like I do have a Maglia rosa, but it's only because a new seedling came up. All those Maglia rosas died that I planted out the seedlings. Um, now this tiny Tim from Faye, or Tumbling Tom from Faye, is probably the best, most vigorous. It's huge. I don't know what <laughs> genetics. They're amazing, okay? And I've got some nice flowers. Let me show you up close. So. The flowers look amazing. The plant itself is amazing. Look how big that is. And I planted it, the seed, the same day as everything else. It was like August 3rd. And then this is the one Maglia Rosa that came up from seed. All the seedlings died, but this was a new one that popped up and it's beautiful. It looks really good. Well, I think that's, that's a pretty good walk around update. I didn't point out every teeny tiny little thing but I think I gave you a pretty good overview of what's going on. So I think I will end this video here. This will be that, this will be that video. Um, and then whatever else I film today will be separate. And then of course we have the plant swap. So I wanna get some footage from that, so. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, bye. Guess what? I forgot to tell you about this plant. I forgot to tell you about this beautiful plant. Okay, I got this plant from a patient at the building where I work. I work at a medical office building as property management, okay. 
anyway, well, this patient dropped her phone down the elevator shaft, you know, and um, real distraught about it, as you can imagine, if you dropped your phone down the elevator shaft. This was on a Friday. I said they'll be here on Monday. Um, and I did help calm her down and just tell her everything's going to be okay. We're going to get your phone. It's going to be fine. Um, so Monday, elevator guy came and got the phone, brought it to me, and I called her. Um, I called her daughter, um, and she came up to the office with a bag of goodies from Trader Joe's and the nicest, sweetest card ever and um, a bouquet of flowers. Those are in the house. She gave me this plant. I know, it's so gorgeous. I forgot the name of these. I know the name. I can't think of it right now. Anyway, it was just the nicest thing. It was just this whole bag of stuff. And I'm like, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. And I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, so that was something nice that happened this week. And I'm going to try to decide where to plant this. I kind of wanted to plant it so it could crawl over my arch. But these can be perennial here in my area, but sometimes they're not. So I'm wondering if I should just put it in a pot um, so that I can bring it in when we get a freeze. I don't know. Anyway, I'll think about that. Anyway, I'll do that later. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. Okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> Bye.